today um, I filmed this video because I just want to talk a little bit about uh, like mediation or settlement facilitation uh, either in your contested or your uncontested divorce. Hi, my name is attorney Anthony Spratley. I'm the owner and founder of Genus Law Group in Albuquerque, New Mexico, where uh, we practice divorce and custody law. Now, you have um, either filed for divorce or you're working with the other party and try to do a, a contested divorce and you decided to seek the help of a mediator or a settlement uh, facilitator, right? And um, I just want to talk about the distinction uh, between the two. So, um, oftentimes people decide to do mediation or settlement facilitation because they're looking for a way to resolve their case uh, without it getting uh, too contentious. Or maybe it's already been contentious, but now you want someone uh, to intervene to finally set up, settle all the matters um, in your case. So uh, you go on the internet or you get a referral for a friend uh, for mediation. So mediation is a little bit different uh, than settlement facilitation, right? So mediation is where uh, usually it's just the parties that are involved, let's say uh, uh, like the husband and the wife were just involved with the mediator. And that mediator doesn't even have to be a trained uh, like family law professional. Uh, you will want a trained family law professional because they uh, can help you reach uh, reasonable settlement terms because they have some sort of understanding of, um, of what family law is. But if you decide to go with a non-lawyer, that's okay. Um, but the goal is, is a mediation to help you work out your differences and then to uh, attempt to reach some sort of mutual resolution uh, with mediation, there is no, it's not, it's not adversarial. It's not an adversarial section or, excuse me, session. It's just an attempt for the parties to get together, have a third party uh, who presumably has been trained in mediation and uh, to help the parties reach you know, some sort of resolution. I mean, oftentimes, if you go to mediation, you can be successful in uh, finalizing um, the terms of course, and possibly save a lot of money. So that's one way to do it. You have to find the right mediator that can help you meet uh, goal, those goals. Um, settlement facilitation is generally used um, in litigated divorces. Um, I commonly use it in, in my practice. Most family law practitioners do. As a matter of fact, uh, most courts in New Mexico won't allow you to go to a trial on the merits, like to finalize the, the, the divorce. Uh, without going to settlement facilitation first. Now, uh, settlement facilitation, people think, is similar to mediation, but it's not. Uh, generally, in mediation, both of you are in the same room and you're trying to work out your differences. In settlement facilitation, I call it shuttle, uh, shuttle uh, mediation, where, um, like for example, I would be with a client in one room, with my client in one room, and then the other attorney will be uh, in a separate room, and then the settlement facilitator uh, usually is a, a trained attorney uh, and who has a broad knowledge of family law would go back and forth between the parties uh, to exchange offers and um, hopefully get the parties to uh, reach some sort of settlement. Now the reason why it's called settlement uh, facilitation is because truly the goal is to, is to settle the case, right? Um, normally, by the time you get to settlement facilitation, uh, sometimes the divorce has been in process three, four, five, six months, sometimes longer, and the parties just want to settle their case. They just want to be over, and they are willing at this point to sit down with a third party to try to facilitate uh, settlement. And so the goal of the settlement facilitator is to push the parties to settlement. And the settlement facilitator will interject what uh, their biases are about how the court will or may not uh, decide a particular matter. If there's a hang up on, uh, say for instance, property or debt or even spousal support, the uh, settlement facilitator uh, will give uh, their opinion, uh, again, their biases based on their experiences, of course, uh, the settlement facilitator has no idea what the judge or how the judge will rule in a particular case, but just for you to know that it is an opinion and most of the settlement facilitators that we have worked with are extremely, uh, are extremely 
experience and, and they've been in front of the judges a lot. And so they understand how judges will rule uh, based on the law and uh, their experiences of getting in front of the court. So one of the nice things about settlement facilitation is, uh, especially for an attorney when I'm sitting with my client, is it gives them another perspective on another attorney to tell them you know, whether or not their offer is being reasonable or unreasonable. But again, the goal of settlement facilitation um, is to settle the case. Uh, oftentimes, uh, the settlement facilitator will remind the parties that uh, just like in mediation, the process is, is confidential. Uh, but if the parties uh, do or don't reach an agreement, uh, that the settlement facilitator cannot be called as a witness in the case. Uh, additionally, uh, what is important uh, to understand about settlement facilitation is that uh, you're going to save a lot of money well, in mediation as well, but in settlement facilitation, if you don't have to have your attorney prepare for trial, you're going to save on average of ten dollars to $15,000 uh, just going to trial alone. That's uh, paying for your attorney, paying for your uh, the attorney staff to help you prepare your case uh, to get in front of a judge. So it behooves you to uh, settle on settlement facilitation if it's right. Again, you don't have to settle anything in mediation or in settlement facilitation that you're not happy with. But the most important thing is you can settle the case. You can reach a reasonable agreement if you're a willing participant in the process and you go in there with the mindset of getting a deal done. All right, so I was a little bit long, but I wanted to discuss the differences between mediation and settlement facilitation. Um, I've, been, I've been involved in a couple in the past week and uh, they've been successful um, and to be quite honest, quite challenging. So if you need any additional information, feel, feel free to give us a call at 1-800-DIVORCE. It's 1-800-D-I-V-O-R-C-E, 1-800-DIVORCE. Have a great day.